We're back for another show of the Gamer Hour. I'm your host, Chris Puckett, broadcasting out of our usual Reuters studio in Times Square, New York City. Now, you've seen my ADD skills go to work in games like COD, Apex, and Fortnite. Tonight, though, you get to witness my hiding skills in a survival shooter that has inventory and crafting mechanics way too complex for this little brain to handle. <laughs> Look, just give me a bolt or two with something that shoots and I'm gonna be fine. I don't need to worry about a pink furry vest. It takes two points off my mobility and that's a huge no-no. Why? Because the only way I'm surviving is by outrunning my teammate. <laughs> but before you get to see that game of cat and mouse, we gotta talk about the games that you're playing or at least should be on your wish list. There's a new weapon coming to Call of Duty and it's no stranger to the franchise. The Psychov Pistol is coming back, baby! Yeah, that's right. Players discovered this classic bad boy in plunder through weapon drops. And yes, it can be fully equipped with fully automatic attachments and dual wielded. Oh, and did I mention it comes with an 80 round magazine? Well, it does. And in your favorite good bubblegum skin as well. I'm not sure if I should be looking forward to this weapon or starting a petition to ban it because the last time we saw anything dual wielded in Warzone was the snake shot akimbo pistols and we all know how that went. How many right here? One, two, three. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh all I know is that I'm getting Modern Warfare 2 flashbacks right now and I'm not sure if I like them. Taking the lead. One, two. Hell Let Loose is rolling out with tons of new content for 2021. The World War II mill sim revealed a roadmap detailing a planned release of Melee Combat, which is great because I'm tired of running out of ammo and staring at the enemy with this face. <laughs> Proper weapon zeroing, whatever that is. Community voiceovers, so I can finally hear words for a change instead of this guy. I want to the oh! oh! G34 machine gun. For good measure, it is a WW2 milsim after all. And new loadouts, improved optimization, ever important grass rendering improvements, significant changes to armored vehicles, and much, much more. Let's be honest though, if you really want more World War II, just go watch Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> and if that doesn't do it for you, skip the Pacific and go straight to Band of Brothers. I know it's a long series, but it's COVID. You got nothing better to do. <laughs> Halo Infinite got itself an update as well. And the game's not even out yet. In a video detailing the game's progress, 343 revealed a new vehicle damage system, grapple hook mechanics, and future DLC. Now the damage system will allow vehicles to take more or less damage depending on where they get hit. And the grapple hook will enable you to swing around the map. But not only that, you can also now grapple weapons and vehicles towards you. Yeah, I'm serious. So basically, Infinite is really Halo meets Just Cause 4. Got it. <laughs> the Medieval Times game Chivalry 2 has a new trailer and release date. The game releases now officially on June 8th for both PC and console and has made some huge strides from its predecessor. The sequel is not about opening doors for old ladies, but we'll now house 64 players in a server going at it with swords, spears, pikes, crossbows, mallets, axes, that spiky thing on the end of a stick, or whatever else they used to use back then. My question is, was 64 players a conscious decision? Because this sounds a lot like a good old fashioned game of conquest on Battlefield to me, just with fewer tanks, guns, and well, more horses and swords. <laughs> Imagine for a second though, if DICE made a medieval game. Castles would collapse if you pulled a lever, trebuchets would replace artillery, and Bowman, well, they'd still be those same annoying snipers just on top of a turret instead of a skyscraper. <laughs> to be honest, it sounds a little bit better than what we got with Battlefield 5. I'd take it. <laughs> Rage 2 was free last week on the Epic Games Store. If you missed it, well, don't worry. It wasn't good to begin with, and neither was the original. <laughs> I had to say it, but you know what it is good tonight, ladies and gentlemen? The running back for the LA Chargers, a man whose teammates call Mr. Pound for Pound. Please give it up for Austin Eckler. Austin.
Nelson, excited to have you on the show, buddy. Thanks for coming on today. Hey, I appreciate being here, man. Looking forward to it. Well, dude, I'm six foot two and played outside hitter. You're five foot eight, but play running back. And only one of us can jump over a 300 pound human. So talk to me. How long have you had hops like this? Hey, you know, some, it's something I've been working towards just my entire life as far as athletics. You know, I've played basketball, football, track. I've kind of, you know, done it all. I was a jumper in track, too. So it was always something I was just good at and continued to work on. And, you know, as I've gotten to the professional career, it's just like, okay, how athletic can you be? You're playing at the top level. You have to stay at peak, for, peak performance. And so, hey, it's just part of the job. And, you know, that's why I enjoy it so much because I have fun with it. I love to see it. You and Drew Brees, the only people diving over humans these days. Uh, when we talk about football, though, I'm a huge NFL fan. And I have to ask, what's more exciting for you as a player, going with these goal line leaps or breaking tackles on your way to the end zone? Ooh, I would probably say breaking tackles. Um, just when you watch like other running backs or like myself, like run through people and run through like tackles are just like so satisfying. It's like, dang, look at that beast, you know, out there making, making room for himself. Uh, even though goal line leaps and like hurdling people is super flashy. It's just, I don't like to do it cause it's like really risky, uh, as far as getting injured. So, uh, I'd like to go, yeah, run through some people for sure. Well, let's talk about your nickname though, because there's only one goat that's Tom Brady, right? But I feel like this is the second best nickname you could have in football as Mr. Pound for Pound. Who named you it? How long have you been going by P4P? Uh, I don't know. I think it just caught on my rookie year. Just for me working out. I just love to work out. It's basically become part of my lifestyle. Um, I literally actually just got back from the gym. <laughs> it was just what I do every day. Um, and so like, it's just accumulated my body to become really compact and really strong. And so now people see me in the weight room, they're just like, what the heck, you know, this guy, why are you doing so much weight? I'm like, oh, this is just normal for me now. And then like, so that's why I got the name pound for pound just stuck on. And so I just, I, I embrace it, you know, it's something I, I enjoy. I'll be pound for pound strongest. Uh, although there are some beasts out there, man, I, I want to start a challenge out there to challenge some other running backs to see, uh, see if my name fits myself or that crown belongs to somebody else. ESPN is desperate for some content. I'm all about that show. Make it happen, please. Who would you love to go up against first? Is it J.J. Watt, T.J.? Who would you be looking at in that pound-for-pound pound fight? Ooh, I think I'm going to stay in the running backs. Nick Chubb is insanely strong. Um, I saw him the other day. I think he was squatting like 500 pounds. I think he did like six times off of a box. So just like, ooh. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm strong, but that, that's a next level strong right there. That's a whole level of swole right there from Mr. Chubb. Let's talk a little bit about your routine, though, because I was inspired at the start of COVID. I stopped going to the gym, but you started your at-home workout series. What does the postseason workout look like, though, compared to when you were in season? Right. So, yeah, when quarantine hit, you know, I was trying to find a way to get my workouts in and then finally got through that and then got into season where it's really like you want to try to maintain what you built up during the off season. And it was a little different off season, obviously, with the pandemic, but still ended up, you know, finding a way to get it in. And now that we're transitioned to out of season, now it's get back to, you know, peak shape, peak performance. Um, like right now, like I'm looking at myself on the Skype, I look a little small. Um, just from what I'm used to seeing myself. And so now I have to build myself back up to, you know, the beginning of the season and try to maintain again. That's small for you? Yeah, I'm, yeah. For me, for me, I look small to myself on the camera. Like my <laughs> neck looks smaller, my traps, and yeah, it's just... It's just subtle things. <laughs> we'll get back. Don't worry about it. The camera <laughs> loses 10 pounds, I hear, these days. Well, for someone like myself who's been scared of going to the gyms on what feels like a year now, what can I do at home? Is there like one or three exercises you can give someone like me to help reshape the dad bod? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I think one of, one of the things that's most important is your diet. Um, your diet is going to be you know, the most important of everything. But if you want to do some exercises, you know, like a little run around your block, um, so you get your heart rate up, get your cardio in, you know, keep your lungs and your heart healthy is always a good thing. And then I always like to do core. I have a little segment going on right now with my Twitch on Saturdays. I do core for 10 minutes at, uh, in the mornings. Um, and then another one is like, you could just do some, some hit workouts. They're called high intensity interval training, where it's like a lot of like burpees or like air squats and jumps, just things that you don't need any equipment for, or you could just go do out on your sidewalk and you don't need an entire gym. But I would recommend getting a friend to do it because uh, it is hard to do by yourself. <laughs> All right, let's, let's dive a little bit into your gaming and streaming schedule because you are a busy dude. How do you balance between the games, the football, and the workout practice? 
Right. So it's, it's, it's a struggle <laughs> and I've had a lot of help just, you know, put people in place to help me uh, basically just schedule out my life. Um, so I can just focus on just the major things. And so streaming has really come on, especially this past year in the pandemic where people are just kind of sitting at home waiting for something to happen or looking for something new. And that's kind of the reason I started streaming is to make that connection and bridge that gap between people not having anything to do or go see people. Um, so I wanted to create kind of a platform just for myself and also for, you know, the community. And that's what keeps it keeps me going, keeps me moving. Mo- keeps me motivated is because, you know, I enjoy doing it. The community is really responsive and they're really positive and they're really happy and it makes me happy that they're happy. Um, but yes, it's with football, you know, it's, it's tough. So we have a few days off. So I've had to like, you know, can't go every day. I've had to like really schedule like, Hey, I go this day and this day. Um, so I'm, I'm not as full out streamer by any means. Uh, shout out to those people that can, cause that's a grind. I get it. But, um, yeah, I still managed to get a few, uh, specific, uh, you know, things in there. I think we all enjoy the content you're putting out. And I especially like when you play with your little brother. But this isn't anything new. You go back to the days when you were taping cardboard onto your TV for split screen. What game were you so competitive in that you refused to let him see your side of the television? Uh, This was a my little brother. So he's seven years younger than me. So I would just destroy him in anything. Um, He's obviously older now as his own lord. But um, we used to play Call of Duty. It was like really, it was way back, way back when like like the online was just like beginning. And so we had, we lived way out in the country and had like terrible internet service because so we couldn't play online because um, we just lag around. And so we're like, all right, I guess we're gonna play each other. And then we play split screen. And so the screen is split like this. And so I would tape a piece of cardboard. And so he would like sit below the TV and I would sit above the TV so he couldn't see where I was on the map because we obviously you don't want them screen peeking because that's just cheating. You know, <laughs> and I would just, I would be way too easy for me. And so, yeah, we used to split the screen and we play split screen uh, multiplayer uh, by ourselves. And that's, that's how we'd uh, have our little competitions. <laughs> You're such a good brother. You're making it more difficult rather than just screen peeking and destroying him. <laughs> right, right. I remember, man, playing with him. We used to play this NBA game too. And I would destroy him so bad. He'd get so mad and just start throwing it up from full court. <laughs> just throwing it out because he was just so frustrated. You know, that brotherly love, you know, I got to teach him, hey, I'm the older brother, I'm the best, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little brothers can't win. Uh, I remember my brother stopped playing video games when I got better than him at Halo. But let's talk about your, your rig these days because you went from cardboard boxes taped to your television screen to a $10,000 battle station. What does your setup look like today? So it's actually yeah, right next to me. I'm sitting in the studio right here. Um, I have two monitors. They're very big. <laughs> They're curved, 32 inches. Um, and then my PC is an absolute unit. Uh, I got the new 3090 in it, the new graphics card. So um, waiting for some like like sick VR, 4K VR to come out so I can run that on that. Um, and then basically top down have everything, the mics, headphones, chairs, like just anything you can imagine. Um, but it's all for, for good, good purpose because I do use it to, you know, create some great content. And, uh, so it's, it was an investment it's paid for itself already through all this. Um, so I'm very fortunate and loving it. And it's a tax write off, right? I, you got to right. invest in yourself it's and for the quality of the stream. <laughs> Speaking of that stream, what games are you playing online on Twitch recently? What are your favorites as of 2020 now going into 2021? Yeah, so I played a, a few games um, just with the community, but the games I've been focused on the most lately have been League of Legends and Vigor. Um, just, I don't know, there's different games. Vigor is like a new game that's, well, it's not new, but it's new to me. So it's just got my, my interest peaked and I've been playing it with a friend. Uh, a few friends and so when you play games with the community that's why i love streaming with the community it just makes it it makes it more of a fun experience just because now you're laughing joking you know getting competitive with people uh it just makes it more social i remember doing the bud light all-star series where we did like a five hundred thousand dollar charity uh, warfare tournament it was warzone i should say you were playing call of duty back then but you mentioned league of legends is the game you're playing now are you as competitive in league as you were in warzone uh, I've been playing league for like six years, so I'm much more competitive in league than I am in Warzone. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, then I was just playing a lot of Warzone because the community loved it. It was kind of a new or newer thing, and so it was just something I could play with everybody. Uh, I still do play it because a lot of my teammates play it, and a lot of my community still does. And so 
like I said, I'm all about the connection. I want to give an experience to you. Um, it helps me build my stream and it helps you have a better time hanging out with me. Um, so yeah, I jump around between all games. Warzone's something I definitely uh, still been playing though. Well, let's take a look at your league play though, because they say you can tell a lot about someone by the way they choose their character or their role in league. So what's your position and who is your main? Ah, so I've jumped a couple mains. I used to main Jax in the jungle and then Zareth mid, but now in this meta, there's a bunch of different metas. If you don't know League, uh, every season there's people that are strong and not. And so now I've been maining uh, Yorick in the top lane. And basically he's just an annoying guy that continues to push side lanes and you have to go run over there and cover him when you want to go run to the team fight. And then I'm just running back and forth, just trolling, my, trolling the enemy and just trying to take the base. Um, that's what I'm just, I'm consistent. You, with York, you just gotta be consistent. You gotta keep just pushing, pushing, pushing. You're never too flashy. You're just good at basically everything. You're not great at anything. Um, but no, that's my type of style. I just like being consistent, just grinding it out. The jungle or the top laner, the hard carry. I see you. Let's talk a little bit about your favorite players to watch though. Who do you learn from? Do you watch the esports side or is it all just people within your community? I've watched a couple esports uh, tournaments like Worlds uh, for League of Legends, but I've never got like into it where like know people on teams or know specific teams. I know like a few teams like TSM, G2, um, but I I watch people just in the uh, in the community. Um, Karis Mai um, is probably the main guy I watch. He plays a lot of Kane Jungle. I just think he's hilarious. Uh, Trick Two G. Uh, who else? Solo Renekton only. There's just a few names that I watch their YouTube and I watch their. Um, they don't even play in my roles, but I just like to watch the good league players play. Uh, boy, boy, and I just like to be part of the community. It's 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 a toxic community, but I love it. <laughs> right, I love it as well. It makes you rage inside sometimes, but there's always oh, someone all, all to make time. you feel no, better. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I'm a Morgana one trick. I feel like I'm the most hated person in bronze right now. Oh, oh yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure, Morg. You missed the snare. You're playing like 10 year old strats. They don't work, man. Uh, I, you know what? I only unlocked one character. That's all I have. Oh, that's all. I, well, you get snared, and in League of Legends, one second feels like five. So the, the snare is three seconds long. So you just feel like you can't move the entire match. You're like, what the heck is happening to me? I hear we get a chance to see you playing with other pro athletes on the regular. Tell me a little bit about your foundation that we can check out over on austinecor.com. Yeah, you can check out my foundation. Um, my foundation is, has nothing to do with streaming. That's Gridiron Gaming Group. That's my group. Um, but Austin Eckler Foundation is a foundation I started to help uh, provide more resources in communities that just need resources. Uh, for instance, Santa Barbara High School has like 2,500 students. I think 70% of them are free and reduced lunch. Um, so the funds are not there. So what the first project that Austin Eckler Foundation has done, uh, we provided a weight room, which fits with my lifestyle. That's why I really got behind that project. Um, we funded it funded a weight room for Santa Barbara High School. And I'm not just sticking to weight rooms. I want to get into other resources as well, as far as computers, as far as, uh, you know, cleaner parks, just making a park, things like that. And so that's what the Austin Eckler Foundation is about. Um, yeah, you can go find it at austineckler.com. Um, there's some there's some merch that's gone up. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a, a wave of me and a lot of others just trying to, you know, create more opportunities for people that, you know, might not have, a, have the opportunity. For me, the weight room was a big part of my life. It taught me social skills. It taught me how to work hard. And it taught me a lot of those skills that I carry over into other aspects of my life. And so I'm trying to give that to other people and hopefully they can, you know, use that resources to the max and, you know, better themselves and go forward and be successful with what they want to be involved with. Using your powers for good, man. I'm proud of you. And it's, it's awesome to see just athletes giving back. You're doing something special, though, on June 4th. And I marked this in my calendar. You got the Gridiron Group getting together for a live streaming fundraiser. All of the proceeds are going towards your foundation. So what can the fans catch when they tune in on June 4th? Right. So June 4th. So we just had our first event, which was amazing. I had a really good time. So I'm really looking forward to the second event. Um, it'll be a lot of interaction, a lot of giveaways, a lot of you know opportunities for the community members to play and uh, come hang out with the GGG members. It's more of that 
what I'm doing in my stream, but just on a broader scale with more athletes from, uh, you know, football players to basketball players uh, to people in the YouTube space. Uh, you know, I bring a lot of just special guests in to create this really fun environment with a lot of people that, you know, you might watch or see or might want to get to know. Now you have a chance to talk to them in the chat or even get an opportunity to play with them or even get an opportunity to win, you know, some sign or memorabilia from them uh, or something that's, you know, unique to the stream as far as sponsorships. So really looking forward to the event. It's going to be great. All Like I said, like you said, all the proceeds are going to go to Austin Eckler Foundation, which is going to help provide what I just mentioned, the resources for, for places across the United States that, you know, are just in need. Um, so everything's going to be for a good cause. It's going to be good, good vibes, good community uh, presence. Uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of positive energy. So looking forward to that. No raging on that day? Uh, you never know because it's going to be competitive. There's going to be competitive moments. So you might see me rage a little bit. That's just part of who I am as a competitor. You know, I of get course. mad if I don't do well. If I do well, I'm going to cheer in your face. <laughs> I like that a lot. Well, it's time for our community questions. Every show, I open it up to the community where they get to talk to the pro. And our first question comes from Virgin by Choice, who spells his name with a bunch of ones. What was it like playing with the Chargers legend Phil Rivers? Oh, it was incredible. It was incredible because Phil was just so smart. He was just so knowledgeable about the game. And he just made it easy for me as a young player to come in and really just take off um, and just have – have a clear mind and know what I was doing because he just ran everything on the field. He'd be like, hey, Eckler, you got these two, you got these two if I'm blocking. Or he, you know, he'd be looking back like, you good? Like, yeah, I'm good, man. Like, I, I knew what I was supposed to do, but he would just confirm and make it just the game run so much smoother for me. And as a younger player, you don't want to be thinking. And that's what he did. He made he took the thinking out of the game and just let me play. And then also his play style, you know, he couldn't run as much. So he'd be looking for me to throw me the ball if he was in trouble. And, you know, that's where I was able to shine and, you know, basically kick off my career. And now you're playing alongside a young gun. The second part from VBC, what do you like about playing with Justin Herbert now? Herbie, man. Herbie, he's exciting, bro. Just, not, not, just the presence that Herbie brings to the Chargers, just the excitement from the community that people you know, just like to watch him play. Um, to the fact that he's just a great guy. He also loves to work out, which I love that from my quarterback. I love a quarterback who loves to work out like he does. Um, and so it's just, there's just, I don't know, it's just a good fit. I feel like it's going to be, you know, a good couple of years, uh, with me left on my contract here with Herb, looking forward to play with him. I know he's going to make some plays. He's going to give, uh, the fans and community something to, to cheer for, for sure. Yeah. Give you a reason to watch the chargers. If you're in LA, it's not just the Rams these days, guys. Alien Cider 26 wants to know Demetrius Johnson, AK Mighty Mouse is the greatest pound for pound fighter in MMA and also streams on Twitch. So when are you two linking up for a let's play? Wow. See, that's, that's what I need. I need, you know, little uh, insights like that because uh, there's a lot of people streaming out there on Twitch and it's hard for me to connect with everybody. So uh, I'm always looking to, you know, do collabs with GGG and myself. And so uh, looking forward to, yeah, reaching out. What was the name? Demetrius Johnson, a.k.a. Mighty Mouse. Just type in Mighty Mouse in, in Google and you'll watch like three hours of highlights. Let's go. Yeah. See, I'm looking for all the types of collabs just because that's what I feel like streaming is really about. You know, you can grow as much as you can with your community, but you get to a point where you're just like, okay, I need to get myself in front of other people. I need to do some special things or giveaways or some type of other engagement to continue to grow. And so I think that'd be really great if we could connect our communities and our, the our pound stream. For pound stream, man. That'd be so fun. Cat Ward wants to know, would you ever consider being a full-time streamer or content creator after your career in the NFL? Ooh, <laughs> see, I, I've streamed and I know the grind. It's an absolute grind. So I, I don't know if I could fully commit to that um, just because I feel like I'd want to be doing other things at the same time. And then I'd be like, oh, I got to go stream, though. Um, so I probably stay part time on the streaming part. I still love it, but it's just it really, really drags on. If anyone's trying to stream full time, shout out to you because you have more patience than I do. I tap out <laughs> after like six hours. I don't know how these kids are going 12, 24 hours. It blows my mind. <laughs> right. I feel you. I feel you. Different All breeds. Right. Austin, my final question comes from me. Last year, you went for 54 bucks in my auction fantasy football league. That's over 25%. How much should I plan to spend on you in 2021? Ooh, for your fantasy football league. I don't know because I was hurt for like seven games last year. So maybe I could be a little cheaper this year. So you might get me cheap on the low and then have maybe like a little sleeper pick in there. When people would be like, ah, no, he, he didn't do that great last year, which, I mean, I didn't do bad. It's just I didn't he have didn't all the games. 
I was I was I still average like 100 yards a game, so let's mm-hmm. not let's not overlook it. So when he was uh, on the field, he's pretty darn solid. I'll tell you that. I can tell you, man. You <laughs> pick me up. <laughs> All right, well, Austin, I'm putting some serious cash on our game tonight. It's time to test our survival skills in the game called Vigor. You ready? I'm ready, man. It's gonna Here be we go, ruthless. baby. It's game time. Austin, we're about to hop into a survival shooter that's pretty realistic. So if I break my leg, don't build me a splint. Just run and save yourself, all right? I got you, man. If let's not do that. Let's get out clean. But uh, yeah, no promises. <laughs> okay, no broken legs. I'm down for that. Before we jump in, our producer has given us a challenge, though. The challenge today is for us to drop in, collect the drop package, and successfully evac at the rendezvous point at 0600 hours. You ready, soldier? Let's get it, man. Let's go. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what any of that means, but let's get into it. You run the map and compass. <laughs> I'll collect the Skittles and Band-Aids, and we got this one locked up. It's time to jump in. Where are we right. Car park. All right, yeah, Where I'm looting this so I can try to get some gas. All right. Some fuel so we can get out in the boat. I know I have two. I'm keeping track now. We probably will get run up here, too. Is that you? Yeah, I opened that. All right. How do you know when they're gonna set it off? Is there any like warning signs? No idea. It's all random. Got it. All right. Oh, I just got shot. Get a shot. I get a shot. Oh, I gotta lay down. Get him, buddy. Get him. I saw him. I lost him. He's by the green tractor, I think. Oh, he lasered me. What is happening, gun? Oh, bro, how? Have the ammo. I came in the game with no ammo. It's all you, buddy. I have no ammo. I'm trolling so hard right now. Oh, this guy's behind us. Are you dude. good? Oh, you can get. <laughs> Where they at? Run, buddy. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. The guy's behind you. I've tagged him a few times. Are right, you oh, dead? Oh, he's got a kill. Let's go. Another one up here. Okay. Okay. Right, he's dead too. This all right. Off. That's three. Yeah, go get his gun. You need heal. I'll hold left on. You get his gun. 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 Okay, there's the button. There. Found it. All right, he's just laying down over here. He's, yeah, you see him? You see him? Don't ADS. I mean, you can try. Just tap, tap it though. It's, it goes crazy if you hold it. Oh, this guy. He's in front of that truck. Yep. He's peeking 100%. right. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I told you. I can shoot. Let's I just need to know what I'm doing. Four kills. Wait, there's someone camping right here. I got right two here. bullets. There's someone here. Wait, there's someone here. There's someone here? There's someone here. You're about to get bombed. You have to move out of this red area. Just move up the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta move out of that. So there's someone laying over there in the rocks. So if you lay in one spot for too long, bombs come. So there's someone laying around up here. Oh, I'm gonna go find him. Let's yeah, go, baby. There's what, eight people in this lobby I had to frag out? We got Wait. five already? Wait, there's an airdrop over here. Go snag this airdrop. This dude had an airdrop on him. Go to one. All right, all right. Go to one. There's an airdrop laying on the ground over there for some reason. To your right. Got it. I was just trying to get in the trees a little more. I'm tired? Come on. Yeah, stamina, boy. Fat master. Yeah, someone had an airdrop on him. I'm out in the open. Don't mind me. Yeah, if you get hit. Yeah, snipers are so satisfying because you can just bink. Done. Just snake it in the grass. You're gonna have to go to the boat and then do the thing we were trying to do at the other dock. Okay. Here, take my gas, sir. Oh, this one takes electronics. Okay, I gave not my gas. electronics. We're good. good Nine seconds. Know. Good to know. All right, so you're getting out with it, but we both are not. <laughs> they're gonna be up top of us. Yep, they're gonna have high ground looking down. Do you wanna Do you wanna try and beat them up there? Uh, I'm slowly working my way up there. I'm snaking. I see yeah. you watching me. <laughs> I'm taking the wrong angle. <laughs> Bro, you, you do not have the rage for that. <laughs> I do not have the All right, I'm making noise. Shots they to see left. you? No, we're fine. I don't know where they were going. Oh, they're right in front of me. I'm about to, there's all three right in front of me. You're gonna dong them though, right? All three of them? Oh, one Moving second back. to Moving our back. right here. Moving back. Moving back. I missed every single one of them. Moving back, buddy. Don't stay. I can't. Don't stay. They're gonna move around you. Don't stay. Fine. I'm moving. Move back. You gotta move back. 
Because they were, one one left, one more right. Yep. All right, I'm going around this whole building. I'm getting rowdy. Yep, yep. There's one over there. Don't don't run though. Don't run. They know where you are. You're running. I hate not running. I know. I know. It's, but, audio is the best in this game. Right? I ain't got no patience for this. I see nobody. I see your bullet. Oh, I lit this guy up, bro. Oh, he's not dead yet, though. I got two on me. I'm fine, though. I'm fine. I'm not helping you. No, you're good. I'm fine. This this mouse is moving very slowly to get the cheese. I'm behind where they are. Okay, I'm going to light them up. Yeah, yeah. If you see them, let's go. Okay, one's lit. He was on the rock up here. I don't know how to mark it. There we go. All right, he tagged me a little bit. I'm running away again. Yep, fall back. Can you move your ping? Uh-oh, that's not my heels. Oh God, I'm down to 40 bullets. Oh, uh, can you move your ping? Can I move it? Yeah. Yeah, bro, it's uh, right on. Maybe? How do I how do I move it? Right, bro. I need you to move it so bad. Move the pig. How? Bro. How? Oh god, he's on me. Bad. Left on the D pad. I got drop shot. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number dwarf two seven nine nine is right, up. I'm gonna try uh, to take these guys out, and then I'll we'll back out. We we'll get back in again. You're good. Take your Both time. Get to lobby. Brush on. Hider's gonna hide. Oh, to your right, to your right. Around the pond. Almost! Tracer shots! Uh, another one, 105, 120, right? I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Dead? Sweet. I have no ammo. No ammo. I only brought one gun in the game. I missed 200 rounds. Do you see where he is? Do you have grenades or anything? Nothing, right? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I do have... Oh, no, I don't. I thought I have... I have a band-aid. I'm gonna try to... Okay, pro strap. I see him up there. I'm gonna go loo his guy, shoot him with his guy, own guy's gun. I believe in this. This, this is totally happening. Oh! He's not looking at you. You're good. You're good. He's still up behind that rock, though. Now he sees you. Nice reload. Dong time. This is a heady. This is a heady waiting to happen. Woo! You're not hurt. Didn't they have three people? Where are the other? <laughs> nice. Bombed him. Uh huh. There you go. Roll up on him, Austin. Oh, I believe in I you. My... Oh my god. Yeah, you're gonna need that ammo. <laughs> I, was to, I was trying to heal. I can't see half my screen because my like laptop's in front of it. Got it. You look good to me. Uh oh. Okay, now you're down to like 10 health. He's still up on that rock. You see him? Through the window? Oh! Oh, good try, good try. <laughs> oh, look how bloody he is. Fuck. Look how bloody he is. God. Tag them. Uno mas. Run it back, run it back. Give me the M16 with ammo this time. Hopefully we don't get the ammo. Pro strat? Very sneaky, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Splinter cell, splinter cell. Need so a they're box. Right, they're right up in here. I'm snaking now. And when you lay down, are you using uh, hip fire or are you using uh, the ADS? All ADS. All right. Like you push down. Oh, wait, I just think I just saw him. I hear him right are here you, in front of me. Are you running? I hear him. No, that's them. That's them. They're right here. He's right here if you can pop this kid on my ping. Okay. Popped him. There's another one. You Popped good? him too. Look at you. You don't need me. <laughs> I hear him to our right. Crazy. Ta-da, we've made it. Not yet, we have to unlock it. 
Go unlock uh, it down there. I think there's like a boat or something you have to unlock. Should be like a button or something around here. Yeah, down on that boat. Hello, boat. Hello, Required boat. Five fuel sources. Do you have any? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Wait, move. I'll get it. I have Okay. Them. Oh, I was uh -oh. going to say. Because the radiation is coming. <laughs> I, wait, I unlocked more. some achievements, but we're going to die to this radiation. Wait, we need one more fuel source. Oh, my no! God. No! Source. Oh, my God. No way. Yeah, we're dead. Ah! We're so dead. Can't do anything. I can't find any. Why did they lock it? Oh my god. Unfortunate. Oh my god. Four fuel tanks wasn't enough. We needed five. So we had an easy out, man. I was so easy confident. Out. Oh. Well, I learned new aspects of the game that if you just sit around too long, you'll die to radiation. Yeah. Okay, everyone's down here on one. Let's go kill them. Yes, sir. There's four people down there, and there's two people over here, but those regardless. All right, we're going to one. Let's go get the party started. One is also where the objective is, too. Okay, I need to stop running for a second, grab my breath. If you hold Y, you put your gun away. Run faster. Oh, nice. Ever so slightly. So these tracks, this is a trail, that's not our tracks, but we do have footprints behind us if you look behind you. Okay. Very light footprints. So one's coming up right here, so stop running. So they can be anywhere in this area moving forward. Eat these berries real quick. I love that that's a thing. All right, yeah. Let's spread out a little bit. Don't stack on top of me. I'm going to go all the way right. They can be to my left, though, yeah? Yeah, I'll be to your right. Yeah, they can be to your left, yes. Oh, no, they're down to the right. They're down here, to the right. All right, I'm coming. Uh-oh. Two of them rolling up on you. You got Drop it. You don't need me. You don't Drop need me. Let's go, baby. Not Look at bang. Austin popping off. Let's go collect their nothing. They have absolutely nothing. I told you, Garbo players. We got to play faster. All right, so that's two out of the six. There's another two over here. Where's over here? This direction, same direction. Gotcha. They might be running the signal. Catching my breath. Watch out, watch out for this house. Yep. Oh no! Oh, shoddy boy, we got him. Got him? There's two, there's two, there's two! Oh, I'm running. Let's go, baby! Both dead? Oh, Look go. at you. Look at you. Up, man? Hercules! Oh, Austin's on the oh. 3K, baby! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I told you, I ain't afraid of shotguns. Let's go. Okay, All I should right. probably heal up, though. Alright, so we've killed four people, and I think the other two left. We gotta go see... I'm gonna go to the signal detector and see if there's anyone else on the map. I was gonna say, did we win the game? I think we just did. Boom. All right, grab it and let's go. Stealth and speed, stealth and speed. Does she not realize we murked everyone off the map and we're clear? All right, I can only carry one. You got the other? Yes, indeed. And, All right. And now, where do we go? The closest exit, whatever it is, let's go. If we, didn't, if we didn't have this challenge, we would have been done with this minutes ago. Minutes ago. But this challenge, you know, we completed it because we're champions. Austin, I guess we're just too slippery for these nerds to handle, and I knew that my green thermal polo was going to come into handy here, so they never saw us coming. Neither did I, but we got the job done. How are you feeling about that W? I'm feeling good, man. That was actually pretty good for you for your first time. I was actually impressed. You know, dropped four kills in one game. That's more than I can say for a lot of my friends I play with. Thank you for that hard carry at the end, and we accomplished the challenge for the day. The only thing left for us to do in the show is review and rating. Austin, this is the part of the show where we pretend to talk about the games as if we're developers, all right? Now, since we got a full 48 minutes into Vigor, I feel like we're both experts, but you have a little bit more game time than me. So I'll let you start by dissecting this baby first. If I was a kid into survival shooters, what would you tell me about Vigor? 
Uh, I would say Vigor is a pretty friendly game for new players. It's not too complex. You just go into the game with a loadout and try to come out with you know more than when you went in with. And if you do it successfully, great. If not, you're okay. You have another chance to get back in there, and the games are short, so you're not dragging on a long time, and it's it's not too complicated. So that's what that's what makes it simple for me, and that's, I love to play it. I like that. And how about if my grandma was tuning in and watching your live stream? How would you break the game down to her? Um, see, that's that's what's great about the game too. You can play in a different play style. You can play aggressive if you want to play slower. Maybe your grandma's you know a little bit more on the wild side. She wants to go in guns blazing. She could do that too. Uh, it's great because it, you can you can play how you want to play. You can play more strategic, more aggressive, or you know switch it up or do a little of both. Uh, it's great just all around. On a scale of one to one hundred, where does Vigor land? One to 100, I would say 85. There's just th things I wish that you could do that you can that are just like little nitpicky things. But um, yeah, I would say 85, pretty solid. And what are those things that we need to do to bump it up to 100? Um, there's some bugs in the game where you're like trying to crawl up stuff and it's like it wants to let you, but then it doesn't let you. And I also wish you could get into a, a different like lobby with somebody like I could run around your house and stuff like that. So nothing like with the game or anything, maybe some more maps and get rid of the fog because no one likes the fog. Um, but other than that, yeah, I love it. I'm all about it. More snow maps, please, for me. Now, Vigor, I feel like it's more updated version of DayZ. The gunplay is very familiar, and it's all about hitting those headshots, as you saw in our gameplay. I can't see myself as someone who's going to take the time to actually craft things or open up all the crates, but I'm definitely all about the looting and shooting, and I'm all about the hunt. So on a scale of crunches to a one-arm pull-up, I'd give it a solid burpee. It's a, got a bit of a tough learning curve, and it gets you winded pretty quickly at the start, but after a while, you learn to enjoy the pain. It's a compound workout for sharpening not only my shooting, but also my looting, crafting, storing, and managing skills in game. And the game packs a sick pair of blue lemons for you to extract in. For those wondering at home, the burpee in my book, it's about an 87. Austin, want to say thank you so much for coming on the show, brother. Thank you for introducing me to Vigor. And next time you're on, we got to get your favorite streamer. What's her name? My favorite streamer? Cares mine? Yes. Let's get it. my. I didn't Karismai. want to butcher it. There you go. Karismai <laughs> will be joining us for some League of Legends. I'll show you my Bronze Morgana. Sound good? Let's do it, man. Thanks for having me. Mr. Pound for Pound, thank you so much. Stay healthy and keep killing it out there in 2021. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor. Do the squat right now. Get off your couch. Bust a deadlift with that keyboard and give it up for the one and only Austin Eckler. See you guys. Austin Eckler is smashing his way to touchdowns and snaking his way to rally points in survival shooters. Nothing can stop the man, not even the pandemic. Go check out the Austin Eckler Foundation at austineckler.com where you can donate to his charitable causes. And go follow Austin on his Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Austin Eckler to see more survival and MOBA gameplay. If you like pictures and stuff, you can always check out his Twitter and Instagram, both at Austin Eckler. It's that time of the show for me to go home and play Escape from Tarkov. Yeah, I'm going to go get lost for a good hour or so and then get killed by a camper sitting next to the extraction point. Fun stuff. <laughs> Be a good gamer and tag this show as your favorite on YouTube, Twitch, and our other streaming channels. You'll get some extra love if you hit that follow button on our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages. For the cherry on top, we'll go over to our website, thegamerhour.com, to see who's coming on the show next. From Reuters Studio in Times Square, New York City, I'm Chris Bucket. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now go play Possum and secure some premium loot. I'll catch you next week for another episode of the Gamer Hour.